Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Nancy Badijo from nancybadijo.com. And today, um, my tutorial is on how to create an editable PDF file in Adobe Acrobat Pro. So this tutorial is for anyone that wanna sell edible templates, whether it's on Etsy or any other e-commerce store. And you'll be able to um, create an edible file that you could sell to someone else already pre-made and all they have to do is pretty much um, enter their personal information on the editable file, save it, and then print it. The nice thing about it is that it does require a lot of work in the upfront, but then you can sell unlimited copies and you don't have to do any other work. So once the person purchased the file, they download it, they go to Adobe Reader, which is a free tool for them to edit. They go in there, edit the edit the template, and that's all they have to do. So this is what we're trying to do today. This is a sample of a mock-up that I did. So this is a five by seven thank you card. Um, it's a flat card. You could do any type of edible file. It could be an invitation. It could be a sign. It could be a sitting chart. It could be anything you pretty much want, an invite for like a baby shower. So I just wanted to start with something basic. So the first thing you will need to do is create the template. So when I say create the template, this is what I'm talking about. So this is the template, I put my flowers, and then I save this as a JPEG file. Now, when I save this as a file, it will not be edible, the flowers are not edible. So basically the, the flowers are locked in. So the consumer will not be able to change anything with the flowers or move them around, they're locked in. Plus, you're not giving away your clip art or your raw clip art or file, which is the best thing about doing an edible file, especially if you don't own the rights of the clip art, because normally you pay a commercial fee that you could sell, but doesn't mean you could give it away as a clip art that they could use because you could get in trouble for that. So this is a nice feature about also doing an edible file. So the file will be, the, the clip art will be locked in place. Um, they're not able to remove that clip art and use it for additional stuff. And they'll be able to go ahead and edit the file by themselves. And this is how the final product would look. So the first thing about doing an edible file is making sure that whenever you sell this particular file to the customer, let them know to install the free font first before editing the file. So if you are going to do like a free font from like thatfont.com, that's where I get a lot of my fonts. Um, this one here where it says thank you is great vibes. And then this one down here, the regular text box is a sin, it's called Sincel font. These are free. So if you were to use the same font, you have to make sure that the person, the consumer, downloads the fonts to their computer before actually opening the file. Because what will happen is once they open the file and they start editing the file, that option is not going to be in there unless they have the, they actually have that font. But if they don't, then the, the system, the Ado, um, Adobe Acrobat is going to go ahead automatically default the font to something else. So then they might not be happy with it because they saw your original mockup and that's the font that they wanted. So you want to make sure that you put a little instruction in there letting them know to download the font before editing the file. So that's pretty straightforward. After that, you want to make sure that the person, they must have Adobe Reader. They could do the free tool. However, in order to do the edible file, you must have Adobe Acrobat Pro Reader. It's a little bit different. That one is a, a monthly fee. However, you could do a 30-day trial and try it out before you actually subscribe to it. So you have the option to kind of try it out, fill it out, see if something that you're interested in doing in the near future and if so, then you can later on sign up for it. So they do have a 30 day trial, so just to let you know. So let's go ahead and start the tutorial. Uh, this is gonna be a very short, quick tutorial. So you open Adobe Pro, this is how it looks, and you're gonna go to Tools, and you're gonna click on Prepare Form. Here it's gonna ask you to select the file, so you're gonna download the file. I named mine Template. So I'm gonna open it up, and then I'm gonna put start. And it's gonna show the pre-made. So as you see, the flowers are, are now locked. They, they can be moved or rearranged. You can make the screen a little bit smaller if you like. 
or leave it. I think this size is actually pretty good. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to determine where you want to enter the field. So here we go. So we're going to take add a text field. So we're going to add that here. Sorry about that. So you're just going to click on it and push down, drag down. And this is where the thank you is going to be. Obviously, the thank you for the sample one that I have is it's a little bit bigger than this box. It's just a little bit, slightly a little bigger. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take the corners right here and you're going to extend it. And then you're going to make it bigger here. And you want to make sure you center it so it could look even. And then maybe pull it up a little bit more on the top. Okay, perfect. So then maybe center it right there. So this, you, you will have to click in here and um, actually set up how you want it to look. So you will double click on where it says text. And this is a text field properties. So what I normally do is here, I will name it as thank you. Obviously, when the person gets the editable file, they could put the word thank you and then put on the bottom love and then the bride's and groom's name. However, they could actually change the thank you to something else if they want to as well. So you put the word thank you there just so they can know or so you can know that that's where the field goes. Appearance, you click on the next one. This is where you could select the size of the font. So for instance, on this one, I will have to play with it to kind of match it with the sample one that I did. Um, I'm going to start with like 30. The color, you will pick the color. Obviously, the one I did as a mock-up was black. So I'm going to keep it black. And now here is where you will pick the font. So the first font that I was using is called Great Vibes. It's right here. I have so many fonts. But Great Vibes. So I will pick that one. And then this is really important right here. Um, this you can leave the same. Up here, options, this is so important. You want to make sure you center, you click center alignment because if you leave it left, every time somebody writes something, it will shift to the left. So it wouldn't, it's not going to be centered. So you want to make sure that you put it center. That's all you have to worry. You don't have to click on any of these other variables to change anything. That's all you have to do. You close it out. And then if you want to do a preview to see if the font actually fits because we picked the 30. You will click here and then you will type it and it kind of shows you a preview of how it would look. Now, I do think it's a little bit smaller than my mock-up, so I'm going to go ahead and edit it again. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I will also make this space big in case the buyer wants to add, wants to put more wording here so it could fit. So they'll just, don't make it small enough just for the thank you in case, because they do have the option to pretty much put anything they want in the field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font because I think it's a little bit too small for to match the, the sample that I was providing for the customer. So I'm going to change it to, let's try 45. You got to play with it because sometimes if you make the font a little bit too big, it will get cut off and you don't want to sell a file to a customer that when they're typing in their names or whatever they're typing in, it gets cut off and it doesn't look nice. So then we could do the preview. And that actually looks pretty good, actually. It matches pretty well the sample that I have. So, perfect. So, I'm going to keep it that way. Maybe make it a, a slightly bigger. So, I'm going to edit one more time. And I'm going to change it to, um, let's see, 55 real quick to see how it looks. See, so 55 is a little bit too big. The Y is getting cut off. So, I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch it to 50 and see how that looks. So... 50 actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave it at 50. So we're done with that one. Now we're going to do the second box. So we're just going to grab again. We're going to click on add a text field. We're going to drag the text field and we're going to put it right in the middle. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stretch it out. I usually stretch it out pretty long because depending on the buyer, they might have a really long name. Like let's say someone has like 12 letters on their, on their last name. You want to stretch it out that way they have enough room. And because you put it in the center, 
it doesn't matter. Like, it's not like they're required to fill this all out. So if their name is short, it would just appear right here and the blue boxes will disappear. So it doesn't really matter. So here we would do the same thing. We would put here, I normally name it that way they know what to put there. So I put here names and then appearance, I mean font size, which is appearance. Um, let's go ahead and do, I think um, I wanna do like a 25. And then I'm gonna choose the font that I was telling you guys earlier, which is the Sincel. And this is a free font that you could get online. You could Google it, it's a really nice font. So here you go, Sincel. And then the same thing, you leave that alone. Here, alignment, you want to change to center. Close. And then if you want to preview, you go to preview. And then here, you would just type the people's name. So, love Michelle and Taylor. So, as you can see, the L is getting cut off because the name is a little bit long. So that in order to fix this, all you have to do is go back and make this a little longer. Um, when you are making it longer, make sure that you align it right in the middle because you don't want to make it longer and have it this way, then it'll be crooked. So you want to make sure it's right in the middle. So like right there. If you want to push it up, you actually can a little bit more. That way it doesn't um, have too much space. And actually, I would probably make it a little bit smaller, the font, because this font, for some reason, some fonts, you'll notice that a font, a different font in 25 is really, really small and a different font in 25 is huge. So it just depends on that particular font. So I'm going to change it to 20 and see how it looks. I think 20 looks a little bit better. It actually matches a, a lot more my sample, let's see. And I, you know what about my sample that I like? That is that the name finishes right underneath. Even though that's not guaranteed because depending on the person's name, but... I kind of like that that is right in the middle. So I'm going to do that. So once you, you do this, you align it, you make sure that it looks perfectly aligned and it's not going to be crooked or anything. Play with it a little bit then look at the preview. I think it looks pretty good, actually. So once you're done, all you have to do, you're done, basically. You want to also make sure to keep in mind that the text field names don't keep these the same. So the default, it will say text one, text one. Make sure if you're not going to put anything in it, just change it to text two. If you leave it the same, what happens is when you write the word thank you up here, it will appear down here for some reason. It's almost like a duplicate. So you want to make sure that you change the name. Or if you want to put text one, text two, and if you had another box, text three, text four, that's fine. It really doesn't matter. But just make sure that each box has a different name. If you leave it the same, it would... um. Every time you text, he, every, anytime somebody edits this one, this one was changed with the same wording. So just keep that in mind. Once you're done with the edible file, you say, okay, this looks good. I want to go ahead and put it on my Etsy store or any e-commerce store to sell. All you have to do is just save, save as. I usually put it on my desktop. That way I could find it a little quicker. And I will put, thank you, edible file. And then you want to make sure you save it as an Adobe PDF file. You save it. And basically what the customer is going to get is basically, um, this is the file that they will get. This is the file that they would download. And for instance, I'm going to close this out. So when they open the file, this is what they're going to get. And then all they have to do is pretty much, they already have the, the font installed because you already told them to install it beforehand. So all they have to do is come here and say, congrats. Or they could change it. Thank you. Or many things. Whatever you want to put in there. And then on here, you would just change it to the person's name or whatever message you want to put. And that's pretty much it. Once, they, once the customer edits the file, all they have to do is save the file. Either they could send it to their... They could either print it at home with cardstock paper or what they could also do is save the file as a JPEG and a PDF, I mean, I'm sorry, as a PDF file. And they could take that, put it in a, in a drive or upload it online on any printing shop such as Vistaprint, Kinko's, FedEx, um, any of those stores. And you upload it and you print, print out the file um, and you obviously buy as many copies as you need. 
But that's the nice thing about an edible file. You basically could sell it. Um, just keep in mind that the only thing that's edible is the anywhere you enter a text field. Anything that's blue is the only thing that's edible. So you want to make sure that when you are selling these templates, not only do you mention it's an edible file, not only do you mention that they have to download their, the fonts before they edit the file, also make sure you mention that the pictures are locked in, the colors cannot be changed, and the font cannot be changed. And also that the only thing that's edible is on the blue box. That way there's no confusion. And another nice thing is, is that they don't have to pay to edit the file, it's free. So all they will have to do is go to adobereader.com, download the free, the free um, software, they download it to the computer, they can open the file, and even print it from, the, from Adobe Reader as well. So this is just a pretty much um, tutor a quick tutorial to show you how to create an editable file using Adobe Acrobat Pro. Um, so just make sure that when you guys download it, you have the latest version. Um, this is the name of it as of today in this video. It could change in the future. But it's a quick way to sell edible files. It's a quick way to make money from Xe. Download the file. The person buys the file. They do all the editing. You don't do anything else. Imagine if you create a whole bunch of edible files and you have thank you cards and you have invites and you have wedding signs and you have table numbers and you create a massive um, inventory of different edible files. Not only are you making passive income, you're not doing any work besides the upfront of doing the work. But after that, you could sell a thousand of these a day if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. It never runs out of inventory. There's no overhead costs. So it's a great way to make money online, especially if you have a busy schedule, especially if you don't have the time to be actually editing the files yourself. This is just an easy way to do an edible file, upload it, sell it. And then the customer does the rest. So if you enjoy this video, make sure that you leave a comment below. If you want to learn how to do an edible file or you have a question about the edible process, um, just leave me a question below. And if it's a video that I can make for you, I will definitely do it or answer your question at the same time. Make sure that you like this video so you can stay updated with my most recent videos that I'm going to create about edible files as well as Xe and anything related to digital marketing. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. I am going to be adding more videos throughout the year. All my videos are, are going to be geared towards tutorials, how to do stuff, how to grow your social media, how to make money online, how to grow your e-commerce store. So there's going to be a lot of tips and, and great advice that normally is very hard to find out there. And it's also going to be a tutorial. So it's just not just me talking. I'm going to show you the process of how I do it. That way you could go ahead and and implement that instead of trying to figure it out by yourself like I did and you do a lot of trial and failure. So make sure you subscribe to my channel today. Thank you for listening and I hope you guys have a good night. Thank you.